All right, but our next guest can help you become more joyful by making some changes in your daily routine for the next year. Yeah, life coach Ryan Haddon joins us with some pro tips for boosting your mood in 2022. Ryan, uh, the mood of needs 2020 to be and 2021 <laughs> needs to be upgraded at least for sure. Boost the mood. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And it, it sounds easier than it really is to do, right? I think we all want to boost the mood, but it's like when we're not in the mood, we've got to have a list of things that we know bring us joy. So I'm saying before you th throw down the new year, make a list of things that you know are specific to you that make you feel good. Yeah. Because usually when we're not feeling so good, we don't want to do anything. So get your list, have it, then you can check that list. So, what so if it's movement, if it's dancing, if it's um, creating, if it's painting, if it's breath work, if it's meditation, if it's prayer, Put a list together that you know when you're down in the dumps, I'm just going to check my list and see what I feel like doing. Mm. Because so, your brain's going to tell you, do nothing, just feel bad, sit on the couch, Netflix. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, so we want to get in there and be super proactive. In what do you recommend for people who would say to that, oh, I don't have any time for that. Like my, my, my time is all taken up with kids, taking them to practice and stuff. How do you make time to do those things? There's time, my friend. You mm. can make time, find the time, because if your state isn't good, then everything else is terrible. Do you know what I mean? So make time for self-care. You can even do it when you're washing the dishes, like play, when you're playing Legos on the floor with your kids, do some breath work, do some stretching. Like it doesn't have to be this like time outside of your life. It can be inside of your life, within your life. Just make it intentional. I know make it work for you. Personally, I'm a creature of habit, so I'm, I'm comfortable if I have a routine, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's almost like a checklist for myself. Yeah. Um, and that might work not might not work for other people, but if it does work for you, that might actually be a way that you can make time to do those things, right? And 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 carve out happy times for the day. Carve out happy times for the day. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> but I think like some people are good with lists. I was like pro list, but it's like just try new things. This uh -huh. is like 2022 is a changing of the guard. Whatever wasn't working for you, just be like open to trying something else. If you wanted to do Tai Chi do Tai Chi, you can do it online. You don't have to go somewhere to do it. There's so much happening that's changing. Make this new um, access that we have that's happened during lockdown and quarantines, make it work for you. Bring all these things into your home that you wanted to try. You wanna take a painting class, do it online. Yeah. Just start to find your joy in places where you haven't maybe been as open to um, exercising your free will to you know, evolve. Yeah. So what, one of your other tips is to create nighttime and morning routines. Uh, first of all, why is that important? And what's it like, what's a good example of a nighttime routine? Well, we want to bookend our day. So you can either do it in the morning, starting our day off with, you know, some breath work or a gratitude list. I know it sounds corny, but it's really an amazing way to like up your frequency write 10 things down or three and just make it a daily practice while you're sipping your coffee. I tell you, gratitude changes your mood. It just does. When you're feeling grateful, you're not looking through a lens of pessimism. Mm, it's just, it's, yep. a, it's, it's a manipulation. It's a way you can change yourself in the moment. So make a gratitude list. That would be a great way to start your day or meditation. Meditation, everyone's like, oh, meditation. Just take three minutes, put your timer on for three minutes. You can do mm. that. Three minutes yeah. is doable. And just breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. And your mind's going to think stuff because that's what it does. And just let it do that. But just come, come back to your breath. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about with meditation. OK, so that would be a great way to start your day and end your day. You can also do a gratitude list. You can do some stretching before you get into bread. You can write down three things that went great in your day, mm -hmm. you know. And so we're just finding these gentle ways before you crawl into bed to um, give thanks for what's happened, yeah. good or bad. Just because like there's that. lessons, we don't know what they yeah. happen on the other side of things. We're like, this was a great day, you know? So find yeah. ways that you can make intention, either at the start of your day or the end of your day. Yeah. And no matter choices, how trivial yeah. it is, find something to be yeah. grateful for. For sure. You know? We all can. Awesome. Ryan, thank you so much for your time this morning. We're going to link uh, your information uh, as well as social media to our website, GoodDaySacramento.com, under show info and today's date. So you can find Ryan Hatton, uh, life coach. She's a life coach for a reason. And I'm loving the geodes behind you, too. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. That's an amethyst. Oh, it's purple. gorgeous. Amethyst, oh. yeah. I love it. Good Bye, stuff. you guys. Take Thanks, care. Thanks, Ryan. Happy, Happy New Year, New too. Year. <laughs>